Well, Linda, here on 21 Alive News at 4, as you know, yep. we always love to highlight the arts and culture around the Summit City. Yes, we do. And this week, we're talking about a couple upcoming events in our In the Arts segment. Always happy to have Rachel Ryan King. She's the Director of Communications with Arts United of Greater Fort Wayne. And we always want the opportunity and quite frankly, take advantage of the opportunity to get all of us up to date on what's going on in the arts community. I know you stopped by today to bring us up to date on a couple things. Go ahead. Absolutely. There is no shortage of arts and culture activity you know happening right now. Uh, in particular, this week gives a little bit of a taste as a predecessor to Taste the Arts Festival. Oh, okay. So this Thursday at the Fort Wayne Museum of Art, they have their second Thursday in the Paradigm Gallery. Nice. They will be hosting it with some artists from the Paradigm Gallery as well as the Fort Wayne Artists Guild for some plain air painting. So live painting, oh, wow. painting outside Main Street. So it's free admission night at the museum. It gives you an opportunity to check out some of the exhibitions for that discount as well as some refreshments available and really a little taste of what's to come for their plein air paint out over at Taste of the Arts later this month. That's fantastic and I know Taste of the Arts is always very very popular so to get a preview like this at such a beloved place perfect combination. They know what they're doing don't they? Yeah. Yes it's awesome. So excited to see that. Uh, another little taste if you will mm -hmm. is that Fiesta Fort Wayne is happening this coming Saturday which is just a beautiful Hispanic Heritage Month celebration Super. and it'll have some of our normal performers that we have at Taste, mm -hmm. including the Amanaceras de Mexico, as well as some other traditional folkloric music, which is just going to be a fun time. I mean, more than anything, tasting out cuisine yes. and seeing some performers that we've hosted before at Taste. Good food is art. Yes. Right? Sometimes, and if, of course, if you have an event like that, then combining everything together is wonderful. We're so lucky, you, you touched on it at the beginning of our chat, but we're so lucky to live in this community and on any given day know that there's something going on that is for just about anybody out there, right? Don't you think? Absolutely. I mean, That's one of the best things I think about living here in Northeast Indiana is that there really is something for everyone, mm -hmm. basically every single day of the week. And you mentioned Northeast Indiana. You work very hard at Arts United to work with the surrounding communities too, so that it is truly our corner of the state. Absolutely. That's what we want to see thriving and it continues to expand and it's great to see more and more activity happening every single, not only year happening with taste, but continuing yep. throughout the year. Absolutely. And I've been here, what, 35 years now. So it's one of those things to have watched it grow and develop and just Y'all are getting it right. So thanks, Rachel. Thank you. Always appreciate getting to talk to you.